my name is Noah Kanter. I'm a psychologist with a background in child clinical psychology and educational psychology, and I've been working online counseling children and families in the past two and a half years. The most important thing about online counseling is to set clear expectations with both the parents and the kids themselves. So that means helping them choose the right room to hold the sessions that is quiet, that doesn't have too many things in it that could distract you. Um, it's talking about the fact that maybe sometimes there will be technical difficulties and then what do we do when they happen. It's um, talking about the fact that it's weird sometimes to talk with someone online that is just a face. And don't try to make it as if it's exactly the same. It's not the same, but it's okay. It's different and it has a lot of advantages too. It might take a bit longer to build trust with a child when you're only an online face on a screen and that's okay. Um, this is why I believe it's very important to use a lot of physical activities and games that, you, that make use of tangible objects in the child's life to, to build this kind of rapport and trust, especially in the first stages of counseling. One of my favorite activities when working online with children is playing the guess what game. Uh, in this game, I ask children to choose an object in the room they're sitting in and I try to guess what that object is by asking a lot of yes or no questions. Um, and then we flip and I choose an object and they need to guess. I love this activity because it helps me first get to know these kids, what they're interested in, what catches their eyes. Second, it normalizes asking questions in the meeting, which is something we kind of do a lot as counselors. And it also shows them that sometimes I get confused, sometimes I'm not sure what to do is, as well. Normalizing, not always being on top of things and just is a fun icebreaker in general. One of my best moments um, providing counseling online actually happened recently. An eight year old and I made together a filling jar and we put all our, all our fillings together in a jar and shook it and sh saw what happens to the fillings when we get all worked up and how they come down afterwards. And lately, our mom sent me an email saying that every time she gets upset, she goes to her room and takes her filling jar and starts to shake it until she feels better and she's ready to move on and keep on going. And that was a great moment. Hey, Shireen, how are you today? Before we start, I want to learn about your week. So let's see how this week went by from one to 10 when one is, it was a really, really bad week. A lot of annoying things happened and 10 was the best week ever. Where would you put yourself on? 